Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Next Plays Sorcerer King. So, um, we left off. We were about to go after these guys with our uh, units. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Um, let's fight. So... Ooh, that's not good. Definitely gonna have to kill that guy. Um, I think we're gonna need some more firepower for this fight. Let's go ahead and summon a bear. And... Let's use that bear. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Nice. Um, now let's, um, let's see, what can these guys do? I'm not a fan of that. All right, let's go ahead and use lightning shot here and, um, prevent those guys from using their abilities. <laughs> Summon unit drew some fire at least. That's good. How many hit points does this guy have left? 14. Um, these guys counterattack for 6 to 7. This could get ugly. Um, still, I think it is worth doing this. He's not going to die. Killed it. Good. Um, okay, let's move you over to here. And we'll try and slay this beast. Excellent. Um, Alright, I guess you're just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Since he can't use any of his abilities. Uh, you're going to have to retreat. So let's... Have you fall back to like here. And just to be on the safe side, we will heal the bear. Um, hmm... How about Inferno? Say on that square. Ah! That's a good thing I healed the bear. Um, so it's going to be. Right, you're going to go again. All right. Means I can afford having you having you move up. So let's move you up to here and devour. Heal a little bit. All right, you will survive this counterattack, or you'll kill him outright. That works too. Um, okay, it's a little bit risky. But I'm going to have you pass. I'm going to have you pass. And we're going to try and have this guy soak up the counterattack. Hopefully kill him. Nice. Alright, what do we get? Shadow Broadsword. Nice. Wolf Pelt. Splintered Staff. Plate Helm Plate. Plate Cuirass, wow, those are amazing. Um, all right, let's run into the hideout. And Platinum Ore and Three Flawless Iron, excellent. Um, all right, so... I 
I could give those to him, but it'd be much better if I were to give them to say the can the bear oh the bear can equip them. Yeah. Well, let's make this guy super defensive. I like that. Um, yeah, defense 25. That's what I'm talking about. And then um, the other unit I'd really like to protect. Do you have enough to make another level of cuirass? No, we're one short. All right, let's hold off and wait till we have enough to make a level of cuirass, and I'll give that to the bards. Don't have any more equipment lying around, do we? No. Um, Craft anything else? We can enchant this stuff. Um, hmm. Well, I could always. Am I going to get anything better than a plate cross to put this in? It doesn't seem likely. All right. Let's add this to the plate cross. And let's add, hmm, uh, ten health regeneration. and this unit is attacked, the attacker may lose his next turn. Beautiful. All right. Um, you're not making three food. Um, really like to start producing on that metal. More logistics left? Sure, let's have you train a pioneer. My scouts report you have expanded your territory. I've only permitted you to rule the Cispit, so you might keep those simpletons out of danger and not trust them into it. You are not to use it as a platform for insurrection. The other remnants are encroaching. We need breathing room! You must always seek my permission before such moves. Your choice ban was the cause of all the war that preceded the peace we now live in now. Be wary. Your very existence depends on it. Understood, sir. All right. I am concerned. Um, when you first crept out of the woods and arrived in Ethica, I could sense your power. A fraction of mine, but enough to wield magic. Enough to use the forge of the Orlord. Enough to be a threat left untended. Are you becoming that threat? Uh, of course not, Sorcerer King. Understood. As a token of my goodwill, I should give you an administrator to help manage your cities and possibly keep an eye on the thing. All right, so we got an administrator, presumably in our capital. What does he do? Uh, plus two food. Oh, he really needs to be in the other city. Let's send him down here. The other city, which is desperate for food. This one has a fair amount already. Uh, yeah, so it's up to five food. And this one has nine food. Okay. Um... This army is really beat the hell up. Let's send him. Well, let's see. We gotta send him back here first. Do you have any movements left? We do. Can we get him back to the city? We can. All right. Let's send him back to the city to heal up. 
you know, for a couple turns. Okay, shards being attacked. What's our germ counter at? 22. It's not great. But it could be worse, I suppose. Um, all right. How are you doing? Yeah, you could probably use another turn. Um, pretty close. That's probably good enough. Um, I guess you could use one more turn, but you'll probably be okay. All right. So let's go explore this way, shall we? Okay, yeah. Let's head over this way and see what we can see. Follow the road. Got a treasure chest. To start. Uh, okay, and got an in. Even better. And we got some bandits. Are they gonna attack me? No. All right, pioneers finished. Send you down to build an outpost next to that shard. Um, you're level three now. Garden and a work camp would both be good. Let's go for a work camp. Uh, I suppose we should kill these guys. All right, this looks like a fairly easy battle. first. Uh, do I want to send you up? Sure. Oh, that worked out well. Um, I think I'll have you pass. Cannot run from me and my grapple shot. out the inn. In this inn, a group of merchants asked for your help. They've had to abandon their market due to raids by strange tiny warriors and plead with you to help them. Finish your meal and then help or slip away after finishing your meal. Oh, we'll help them. Sure, you offer, not really looking up from your meal. When I get a chance, they mark the location of their market on your map. Well, that's nearby. 
You arrive in the market the merchants abandoned, finding it, as promised, swarming with tiny little thugs. Dwarves, you've read, from the frozen lands of the north. They look angry, short, but not that well organized. Dwarf bandits, perhaps. I hate bandits. You charge forward right into their tiny, tiny axes. Uh, we got two dwarves. What's this? Hon honorary dwarf. <laughs> He's a trog. Hilarious. Um... And he's going next, huh? And we can't get to him? Hmm. Uh, right, well. We can't, we can't. He poisoned me. That's annoying. That's going to be the last thing he's going to do. Um, sure. Uh, no levels up, but we got some dwarven ale. Increases maximum hit points by two. The tiny thug's dead. The merchants return. One of them offers to join your cause by way of thanks. Um, minus ten doomsday counter. Plus one courage. Grateful merchants. Oh, free pioneer. Cloak of shadows. Plus ten dodge. Like that. Radiant diamond. Plus ten spell resist. You know, what I really ought to do is give his current set of leather armor to him, because he always has actions that he doesn't know what to do with. Um. The bear goes next. Yeah, I can craft another leather cuirass now. So let's craft it. We'll store an inventory. I will equip you. If you unequip this one, and equip this one. And then you can equip this. And you can do platinum speed. Um, It'll also give you a little bit more defense, which you could definitely use. And for my arch, for my hero, uh, let's see, can we craft? No. Um, so can these guys equip accessories? They can. Uh, who wants plus 10 to dodge? Who wants plus 2 to maximum hit points? Hmm. Hmm. Thinking the bear could use the maximum hit points the most. Yeah. Um. So put it up to twenty-five. 
29 hit points. And can also use that to the most. The 10 dodge. Yeah, it has 42 dodge already, but okay. Um, now, the Pioneer. So we already have a Pioneer going down there. Um, we'll have a Pioneer going there soon. So that just leaves up here, but we do not have enough logistics for all of that. So I'm going to move it here. save it for now because we want to use the built pioneers first um, since that one's not costing me logistics at the moment all right let's continue uh, bandit camp Okay, we're familiar enough with this fight by now. All right, so I'm gonna move you here and then I'm gonna have you use platinum speed on my hero. And now you are gonna grapple an archer and you're gonna kill it. Now you slowed him, but he's also sped up. So maybe they counteract each other at least a little bit. Um, right, let's have you kill the wolf. Um, we'll have you move over to here to replace the guy who just went to kill the wolf. And pass. to move our stacks forward here so let's move you to there and pass and move you up to here and then you can grapple another archer uh, but you can't attack it that's all right um, So they have a little bit of defense from their leather armor. Um, why don't we try out Impale? Seemed pretty effective and no retaliation either. Um, let's move you to here, better spot regardless. And I suppose we can finish off the archer. speed is back up. Well, let's do it on the bear. And let's have the bear go kill the archer. And he goes again because of the platinum speed.
Cool. Wolf pelt and some iron. Alright, we finished summon ship. Um, this is thralls in the city by five. That might be useful at some point, but it's a city enchantment. Um, not really a fan of any of these, to be honest. So let's pick one that I can research quickly and get a new set. Give you summon wisp. A new recipe, band of insight. Last breath and three flawless crystals. Ouch. Um. Ooh, that looks tough. Uh, all right, let's check out this cave. In the cave, you find a group of miners complaining something's wrong with their railroad. What's a railroad, you whisper to one of them. It turns out to be a stone-carrying device that uses the dubious non-magical magic to travel along strips of metal. It stopped working, and none of them know how to fix it. Uh, let's try studying it. The foul non-magical magic is strangely fascinating, you state, tinkering with the device. After a short inspection, the device soon roars to life. Yeah, you just have to jiggle it, you explain, jiggling the part that needs jiggling. The miners thank you, offering you a scroll for your troubles. You accept it gratefully, though you'd have done it just for the opportunity to jiggle something new. Alright, we got minus four doomsday counter, plus one wisdom, plus ten lore, platinum, and flawless iron. Okay, that went pretty well. Ooh, we can found a city over here. There's an abandoned village. Um... Uh, we got a couple of inns. We should go try and clear out this city spot, I think. Alright, so let's get an outpost. And build on the shard. Um, yeah, so we gotta clear this thing out. Shouldn't be too too much trouble before it's safe to build on this city. And we gotta clear that out. They had plans. <laughs> Big plans. <laughs> yeah, they're I think they're gonna be too tough for me to take on though. Um Awesome. You need all the food we can get. Well there's you got two very clear choices for tiles here, so We'll obviously be taking those two tiles before we take any other tiles. Um, and you finish building your pioneers. So let's go start mining this metal, shall we? Um, we don't, it doesn't seem like we need another pioneer right away. Um, you know, I know it's minus two food. We could really use more logistics. Should build the work cap and the granary first. No. I would admit the granary is really tempting now that we're level two. Um as is the work camp, but I think I'm going to build the barracks. This would be 
really need more logistics. All right, better choices. Harvest Forest in two turns. Cloud Walk in nine turns. Yes, these are much better. Um, let's do Harvest Forest. Um, abandoned village, or do we clear this out? Let's clear this out first. are really beat up here. Um, so have you move over to here and face the hero. Archer. Oh, you slowed the spider. Interesting. Um, all right, let's just pass. twice to grapple another unit. Well, we can do that. Or we go over here. Grapple another archer. Um, we can go attack it. Again, awesome. Uh, let's see. Yep, I think I have to do it here again. It's not the most ideal place. Oh, it still works. Actually, gonna move you here and use impale just to avoid the attack. <laughs> attack. Um, Good thing. I put some armor on him. Um, hmm. Fifteen health left. It's kind of an unfortunate number. Um, Alright, so the Inferno should kill you. So you. Oh man. Four damage. That was a miscalculation. Believe me, 
lost that spider after all the ah! all that it's been through. I guess we can call up one of our reservians to replace it. We might as well. Um, I'll just shoot you. Poor Bill. So what happened to that armor he was wearing? Okay, it's in here. Um, well, we might as well give it to the pikemen. They're not using anything right now. Um, glyph Leather Helm, plus two defense, plus six spell resist. All right. Um, You're not going to use it. Oh, I thought I gave you some armor. I guess I didn't. could use it. Uh, give you that one. Give you that one. Okay. Now let's um what can we put on this? Doesn't need to be great. Uh, I want to save the platinum more. You don't really need plus one moves. Does that apply in? Does that apply on the world map? I wonder. We're at a four. Let's try it. If it doesn't, I can give it to one of the pikemen. So we still have four moves. We'll have to see next turn. All right. Um, do you want the history enthusiast or the former knife salesman? Um, Pretty similar. History enthusiast is level three. These guys are level one. I guess these guys have more potential. All right, history enthusiast it is. Getting three metal a turn now. Um, working our way towards our oh, sovereign level up. 
Um, I think we're going to need that before very long. So let's grab forging. And I think, so that unlocks these. So, hmm, if we had the flawless crystals, craft another plate cuirass. Um, let's go ahead and craft plate boots and another plate boots because the plate helm is not as much better than the leather boots as the plate boots are better than the leather boots so if we go to equip um, you can equip one of these and you can equip the other one and we Um, oh yeah. Send you over here to found a new city. Uh, you're still guarding this. Um, all right, it did not give us an extra move. Okay, so let's take this off of you. Give it to you. You can take that one. Actually, you can take that one. The next one we craft will go to the pikeman. Actually, it'll probably go to him. Um. The unfortunate fortune teller. You find this village intact but abandoned. Its residents, having apparently dropped everything and fled, you find a single man in town loading valuables onto a wagon. With the measured appreciation of your blade to his throat, he explains that he's a fortune teller who used cheap tricks to convince everyone that a foul evil was about to descend upon him. Clap him on the back and tell him that's exactly the sort of initiative you'll need to run one of your cities. Clap him on the back and tell him that the penalty is either death or conscription. Slay the villain where he stands for staining the good name of fortune tellers. Promise you'll keep quiet if there's something in him for you. Um, I could always use another administrator. Although this is definitely the evil choice. Um, this would give me another free unit. Probably a crappy one, though. Um, let's try this. You offer the maniac a job running one of your cities. This should go well. Former fortune teller. All right, let's see what he can do. He has administrator food. That's pretty good. Um, well, he can just kind of stay where he is. Uh, so is there no yield above this tile? There's inns everywhere I look. Um, there's the wolves back down there. I'm just let him go pick, have him go pick up this chest. Uh, oh no, there's two food here. So. Where do we want to found this city? We want to find found it near near the road. Hmm.
think I found it here. I think I like that spot better than that spot. We can either claim food or lots of resources. I think that's for the best. I mean, these two are pretty equivalent, but this spot is a little bit closer to the rest of the map. Um, all right. So you are just terrible at everything. Um, let's go ahead and have you start by building a garden. Harvest forest. Um, summons a mighty hair gone. Uh, quite enlightened damage for the remainder of the battle. This also puts it into a defending stance. Hmm. So, do I want a better summon? Bash your enemies around the battlefield. I think I'm probably more likely to want a tank than that. So, um, well, that takes longer to research. Um, let's do this. All right. If I cast Harvest Forest here. Yeah, let's try. Wow. That harvested a lot more forest than I thought it would. Uh, I got my two cedar wood oil. Three birch scrolls. Okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't likely to claim any of those tiles anyway. Now, why didn't this create a road here? Um, group of armed men are dungeon of intrigue. A group of armed men are gathered in front of the inn, explaining why they're assembling. A raiding party to raid a nearby dungeon. Great evil lurks there, they explain, but also great treasure. One of these things interests you. Um, so I can ask them where the dungeon is. Great evil doesn't sound too great. Bid them good luck and go the other way. Steal their dungeon equipment while they aren't looking. Where's the dungeon? One of the men marks the location of the dungeon on your map. But don't get your hopes up, he says. We're bound to make it there before you. Travel to this dungeon if you're up. Deadly. Okay. Um... Well, I'm not up for that. All right, you can head. Well, actually, you can pick up this treasure chest and then head for that city. Uh, and let's craft a hunter's short bow. Plus five physical attack, plus 10 physical attack bonus. Um, could potentially enchant it as well. Oh, I didn't even look at these. Uh, oh, well, we're going to 
as well craft one of these for sure. Yeah, I really don't like my chances of beating that army. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's pretty unlikely. All right. Well, uh, I think this episode has gone on long enough, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, uh, please consider liking the video, and I will see you all next time. Until then, have a terrific day.